Hello everyone and welcome to yet another Schmeet video. Today I'm going to break down Isaiah Thomas's first game with the Hornets and kind of talk about how he's fitting in already and how he can, you know, still improve his game. He was in the G League for a while this season, uh, bounced around to different teams these past three seasons. Um, so it's not all perfect. I'm going to show uh, his highlights, his lowlights, and let's get right into it. So this first play right here is his first bucket with the Hornets, which is pretty special. He starts it out with a three. You see he comes around, sets a screen for another player, uh, relocates. Uh, Montres Harrell sets a screen for him, and he gets a bucket. If he can knock down consistent threes for us, um, that's, a great, uh, that's a great addition. Now from that three-pointer... Uh, the Cavs and the Cavs big man kind of had to respect Isaiah Thomas a little bit at least. Um, so you see with this play right here, um, he set out way at the three-point line, almost at the logo. Um, that initial pump fake fakes Evan Mobley out because, you know, Evan Mobley hasn't played against Isaiah Thomas since he's been in the G League. Um, so you see right here, even if he's that wide out, um, Evan Mobley had to close out and Isaiah Thomas blows right past him for his signature floater. Now this play is almost prime Isaiah Thomas, I'd say, maybe prime as in Boston Celtics. Um, but you can see right here, uh, locating the offense, pulls up PJ Washington to set a screen for him, splits the screen, uh, reverse layup. I'd say it's, it's you know, 90% prime uh, Isaiah Thomas because his explosiveness, you can see with that layup, it, it's gone down a little bit. He doesn't have that explosion off the floor as he once did. Uh, he's older now, um, but you can see he still has it. You, he still has it on the offensive end. Now, this is a play later in the fourth quarter um, where if he's doing this, he's really helping our team. Let me play the clip. Uh, the same kind of screen action. This is against Jared Allen, an all-star seven-footer, pulls up right over him, and that is a five-foot-seven player pulling up in the grill of a seven-foot player and knocking it down. Um, this game, at least, his first NBA game, uh, Isaiah Thomas um, kind of got lucky. He got more minutes than I thought he would because uh, LaMelo Ball fouled out early. Now for this play, um, Kelly Oubre gets kind of stuck dribbling into no man's land. Uh, he sets a screen for Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas pulls two and knocks it to Kelly Oubre uh, for a three. Uh, this shows his, I guess, a passing pedigree, um, which will come in handy. Um, I believe he had four assists this game. And if he can just be a consistent player who recognizes this double team that forms and kicks it out to the open player, that's all we need from Isaiah Thomas as a backup point guard. Now, I told you it wasn't all good. Um, I believe his efficiency was pretty bad. Um, he only made, I believe, two of seven three-pointers. Um, and this is one of the clips I'm talking about where I, I know he's rusty. I know he came from the G League, so I'm not going to give him a hard time. But I would expect in the coming days for him to make this floater, especially over Darius Garland, a smaller guard. Um... And yes, we, we battle for the rebound. We don't end up getting it. But um, these are the kind of plays that down the line, um, he has to be that um, that leader for us who makes those shots. And just one more low light. I know I'm not going to give him a hard time. In transition, throws a bad pass. We end up getting it back, um, but it gets overturned to them. We can't have that happen. But um, if I want to break down this overall... Um, Let's, let's take that off. I think Isaiah Thomas had a fine game. Um, I showed you some of his highlights. I showed you some of his lowlights. He went out there chucking that ball. And I mean, putting up, I, I mean, seven threes. I don't know his total shots, but he had seven threes in this game. Um, he's getting his, and he is actively looking for his shot, um, which I respect. I respect out of a, a veteran, I would say. I think he's a veteran at this point. Point guard. Uh, that he's trying to get his, and he feels like if he's shooting more, he's contributing more, which um, on the defensive end, he's not really doing anything. Um, I wasn't able to really show his defensive lowlights because uh, the way NBA.com is set up, it, it doesn't allow you to. But um, that is an area where he is most criticized is the defensive end. And no, I did not watch this whole game. I did not watch him on defense, but I would expect that 
Uh, he has the lowest per, I believe, on defense, um, the lowest you know statistical categories on defense throughout his entire career. We need him to step up at least a little bit. Um, you know, if he's putting up, I believe he had 10 points in this game, he can't give up 20 um, on defense. That That's the way to even things out. If he's giving up 20 on defense, he better be putting up 30 points, uh, which I don't expect him to. But that's Isaiah Thomas. Good game. Good game, I'd say. Um, what can we expect of him? I don't know if he's getting this amount of minutes per game. LaMelo Ball only played, I believe, eight minutes because of the fouling. And maybe I should make a video. You guys should let me know on James Borrego because it has been hot in the kitchen for James Borrego. Let me tell you, I see on my Twitter all the time all these Charlotte Hornets fans criticizing our coach about his substitutions, his rotations, when he decides to uh, sit a player, um, especially after they just went on a run and they're hot, he decides to sit them. Uh, let me know if you guys want a video on James Borrego because it is interesting um, he's in his third year with the Hornets I believe he's improved their record over time and and you know since he's arrived here um, it's interesting the perspective that he has towards or the Hornets perspective towards him I just is and yes this is a growing young team I want to remind Hornets fans this is a growing young team and it's a growing coach as well so there's going to be growing pains along the way but that's it for today Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.